Hello again, and welcome back to Dead Space. So in our last chapter, we've managed to move the marker into the shuttle, and now we're going to have to go put it from where it belongs in Aegis 7, that planet that's nearby. However, we lost the um, doctor, Dr. Kine, only by the hands of our teammate, Kendra, who happens to be the link or connection to the unitology, only to take the marker for herself. So with that, let's not get any more details and get into this next chapter, which I believe will be the final. And before we do, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and comment below. As well as my goal is to reach 100 subscribers. So with that said, on to the next, or in this case, final chapter. So now we're in the planet Aegis 7. Strange how ironic that the self-title Dead Space, even though it doesn't take place in space. Yeah, I'm not gonna get into more details like I said. Let's go check on Nicole, see where she is. Isaac, use one of the loaders to get the marker off the shuttle. Alright, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Let's just check around this thing. And let's check the... Which is... This place is called the Colony. Where people and miner just dig through the entire area for the marker. Pretty wide and long. Almost as big as the... Grand Canyon and there's the piece of the planet that they just pulled out as well as the Ishimura un under it let's get this platform over there and get the marker going Let's check in this part first before we press the button. There is a spin off that takes place before the event of this game. Simply that takes place in the colony. More of a railgun shooter than the actual first person game. Let's get the marker in now. And place it over there. Said it was handmade. I mean, man made. <laughs> Same difference. Seems like some sort of radiation, radioactive material. I don't know. Again, I'm not going to put too much details on everything, so let's just keep going. it here. Now this thing needs a battery, so we're gonna have to go into the office to retrieve it. Into this barrack. Isaac, 
Isaac, the marker needs to be returned to the pedestal chamber. Use the loader to bring it there and place it on the pedestal. Replace what was taken and make us whole again. What is it with you and make us whole again thing? And there's the battery. Let's check around this area first before we go any further. May Omen be with you, within you. Oh, that's right. I still have... Uh, not yet. I'm checking this first before I can go in the store. Looks like it was too late, they have already land. Now we can go into the store, see if we can buy something from it. That's good. Now to do some upgrades. One, two. One. And that's good. Ah, time to get that battery. Ugly looking things. Nope, that's not gonna happen. Yeah, nice trying. I don't think you're gonna be infecting anything. Or anyone. Let's just get this battery and place it there. This thing. And I missed. Try it again. thought of that, but this thing kind of looks like a face hugger. One of the hands, I meant. Alright. Wait. Where's Nicole?
Did this thing scare her? I bet he did. I didn't check this too. Alright, now we can put this battery here and move on. And take our time pushing this all the way here and there. Could just go into that direction. But it doesn't matter which part you go in this part. over there. Of course there's going to be more of these things attacking. So what I would do is press this thing, control pad here, and place a marker in this thing so it will stick to it. And already there's another breach. So try to prepare yourself. There it is. That way the necromorphs can't get to you when the bridge is out. Silence this video too. Okay, that takes care of everything. It's very important to have full concentration with absolutely no sounds going on, especially in my comments. So once that's done, move the other half of the marker part here. And just to be sure, just move it in there.
Everything is clear, okay. And more of this. Getting very persistent, I'm guessing. care of those guys. Well, that was interesting. Let me see if there's any health lying around during this battle. There we go. And there's also a secret door over there, so... Let's just move this over here and get over there to that door and this. And we hit the jackpot. Hopefully this will be enough for some. Oh, almost. That's done. Now let's continue on. Sorry for not being energetic or talkative, all that. I just had a large meal. Isaac, you're almost there. You'll have to restore power to the bridges to move the water through this area. Look for a control station at the end of the maintenance tube. I wish I could, but unfortunately there's more of these guardians. Let me just try to go around without getting too close. That's all. Basically, the Guardians is one of the Necromorphs' enemy that I kind of feel sorry for. Screaming in pain when they're mounted into the wall. Alright, let me 
Let's just check around for a moment. Oh, this thing. Put you out of your misery. Let's just sell something in here. Since I'm already out of inventories. We're gonna have to go inside this room so we can activate the door that's not working in there. Entering zero gravity. this thing. You'll find out soon. Let's take care of... That takes care of him, what I'm trying to say. And basically, I don't need that much this stasis pack. So there's the control for the... another stasis pack. Alright. Now the controls around here. There it is. Just give me a second, press it, and head back to the area. Or just use the stasis, or whatever, to get that thing on. And of course you may notice about all these chopped up body parts. That thing that we saw earlier before a giant fan. Try using the stasis on the fans to slow it down, no doubt. Wait for it. Now we can go. God, you again? done. Another fan. I'm going backwards. Or am I? No, this is the right way, okay? Lucky me. And we're to end this with a mini boss. Another brute. Come on, Toro. What? Okay, that was weird. He 
You know what? I'm gonna use my contact beam on you. And just like the same routine, time to play fetch. Okay, that was pretty random. The whole thing exploded as soon as I tried to get over there. Mm, I guess I can upload my suit again. Level 5, don't fail me now. Have a tight butt. And I am fully packed. More armor and more room for my inventory. Let's see what I can... That's good. For now. Now let's move this thing again and be on our way. Oh, I thought I wasn't going to make it. I also forgot that the hive mind that Kendra was talking about earlier in our last video is around. I just can't seem to figure out where. Well, probably in that canyon we keep seeing. That sound that we just heard is the hive mind itself. So much bloody damage that's going on. A bloody battle that took place here. That direction, of course. Ah, there's something over there, too. Let me just get over there and get that nod. Oh, there's this thing. I mean, I already saw it. I just didn't want it to say anything. 
seen it. Is that how you say it? Whatever. Now let's put this thing into where it belongs and call it an end. End this whole thing going on. Nightmare. Whatever. Ooh. And my guess is that is the hive mine. Let's just check what's over there. Stuff here and there. Tentacles, great. And three of them too. These guys are these guys are him. So while you're trying to um, get the mark over there in that part, more and more enemies will come by attacking you. Like that. Let's just move this marker already. Too many of those things going. I can't even take care of this one by one. See what I mean? I've had enough of this. Let's just play. 
us to place this thing over there. There it is. A marker. Come on. And end this. It's done. The marker's where it belongs. What's this? Thank you, Isaac. I always believed in you. I knew you'd return to me. We are whole again, Isaac. We are whole. giant beam causes the entire thing to turn off so now pieces of the marker I mean not the marker but the planet is falling back to the planet itself <sighs> let's just get out of here before things get real ugly and go over here so basically, Nicole was right there the whole time, but disappeared. Was it an illusion or something? I don't care. Let's just get out of here. Oh, great. Now what? with me with her <coughs> excuse me uh, 
All right, about enough said. Let's get out of here before that meteor created an atmosphere to destroy everything here. Hold up for a second. And it's over there, that area. It's falling fast. Better make it quick. And I'm guessing the hive mine is running out of patience. I gotta get some enough stuff as I can before something bad happens. Alright, so I'm back here again. Let's see if I can try to make this on time. Have enough for two nods. That's good. And there's the marker. That, that was fast. Too fast, actually. And plenty of stuff here and there. Alright. Let's do this one last time. Alright, that's good for now. Couldn't upgrade all of the weapons. But I'm guessing this isn't going to be pretty. Let me just grab it from here instead. Ooh, so close. And now we are facing against the final boss in this game. Third and final boss. And that is none other than the hive mind itself. Alright, so it's pretty simple. He's just gonna hit you with the tentacles. And all you have to do is shoot those yellow things around his head.
What I would usually do is just shoot him and... Okay, that messed up. What I would usually do is just hit some around here and there. And you'll notice that the blood will just spill out. Only when he's roaring like that. So when it's bleeding like that, just wait until all of it is full of blood. And it's pretty simple. So now that it, all the blood is spraying from its eyes, just shoot it in around in Pacific Order, doesn't matter. It makes it pretty easier to fight him. Now this part here is when it grabs you and it's going to eat you and try to shoot it on in the last two before it can kill you. You gotta hurry up. It's getting hungry. Made it. Alright, so in the last part, the last remaining glowing thing is in its chest, so you're gonna have to shoot that out as well. Watch out. These things are there. And it's going to keep doing that until it opens its chest four times. And that basically just shoot it just once. And there's a canister. Let's see if that this works. Nope. Didn't work. Oh well, I got this though. Simple as that. And I'm gonna have to silence this video just so I can focus more of taking care of him.
Yeah, fuck you too. And I got that line from John Carpenter's The Thing in the final climax. Speaking of the final climax, I already defeated it, the final boss, the hive mind. <clears throat> also watch out. Back for where it belongs. And we better hurry up before we get blown up too. We're just gonna leave the marker there. And that takes care of everything. Alright, let's just get out of here and say bye bye to the marker. There you have it, the entire conclusion of Dead Space. So this is one of the few survival horror games that revolutionized the over-the-shoulder perspective of third-person playthrough. This is pretty interesting because it's sort of like Resident Evil in space, and it takes all the elements from Ridley Scott Aliens and Event Horizon as well as other zombie tropes but in a different approach and there is a sequel to it we're going to be covering up in the future in time and I'm very pleased with that and all that so that concludes all of my Dead Space video thank you again for watching all of it and like always, leave a like, subscribe, and comment below. Until then, I will see you again in the next project.